hey there have you been thinking about starting a channel and you just don't know where to begin you keep hearing about all these people who are making money making videos on youtube and you're not really sure how they're doing it and you're not really sure how to get started well in this video i'm going to go back to the basics and give you the tips that you need to help you get started on your channel my name is vanessa de Berlay, and welcome to my channel and i'm excited to dig in with you now in this video i'm going to go over five different steps that you can take to get started but please know there is a lot more involved like once you get started how to grow how to get better um, as far as equipment to use and things like that but the, but this video is for somebody that has never gotten started and they just don't know what to do and you have to start with the basics okay and one of the things i want to a disclaimer i want to give you right now is you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of equipment um, you don't have to go out and get a camera and 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 the microphone and things like that you can use your iphone or your phone to start with okay or if you have a, a webcam on your laptop you can start with that because most of your videos that you make in the beginning are just that they're your beginner videos a lot of people won't see them because you don't have the audience and the exposure yet and that's okay because you don't want millions of people to see you learn right you want to at least be halfway decent before you start growing that audience and and you want to have something um, of value so in the beginning you're just beginning and that's what this is all about so the first thing you need to do is think of a topic that's probably the, the hardest thing for some people but i wouldn't let that stop me it, like i have heard people say hey i started out well here's an example I know a, a person that I follow she started out doing a makeup tutorial video channel that was her thing of how to apply makeup and things like that I was shocked when she shared that because she is totally not doing any of that um, she grew into something different more of an educational video on how to make videos and how to build a business but the the thing is whatever you're excited about today just start because you might even make 50 videos and find that it naturally uh, merges into a different topic that is related and that's okay that happens to a lot of youtubers by the way so just get started and pick a topic now you might say well i have too many choices i have four or five things i want to do and i'm not really sure what i should do i'm going to give you an idea of how you can start looking okay let's go over here and do some search on google the first thing that i looked up was how to install floors my husband is a, a construction worker he's a contractor and i'm always telling him you should start a channel on how to you know build houses and how to do all these little things because that's how he learns um, the first time he installed wooden floors we went to youtube and he watched videos and that's how he learned so there's never too much information on youtube um but here i googled how to install floors and you can see down here i have a keywords everywhere it's a software to a chrome extension that i've installed it used to be free but now you pay like ten dollars and it gives you like a hundred thousand searches so it's unbelievably cheap um, so just letting you know what i'm using and how these numbers are popping up but there are over 62 million people looking for that okay now we're interested in youtube though how many videos are there and right now um, there are about 283,000 results and you might think well that's astronomical well this is something i want to point out um kind of look at what's there what kind of titles are they using um uh, look, when's the last time it was one was made right here you can see 2019 2017 2017 so a lot of these top videos are pretty old later you'll learn how to do search engine optimization and how to look for keywords and things like that we'll touch on that today but that's how people get these to rank and you'll just keep getting better at it the more you do it but the, what we're looking for now is it a topic that people search for if you do any kind of how-to videos especially in the do-it-yourself realm you will find a lot of people are searching for things like that and you don't have to be in construction maybe you like to crochet or maybe there are different um old form crafts that you like to do i like to call them the old form ones but macrame uh, crocheting needlepoint cross stitch maybe you do those things and there's a lot of people that want to learn those skills and they don't know where to go to learn it make a channel and give it a, a catchy name here's another one um how to play the guitar i was th this was kind of fascinating to me oh billions of people looking for it who doesn't want to learn how to play the guitar but let's go to videos 
this was fascinating here most of these videos are from 2012 and 2013 they're really old so if you can figure out how to get those right keywords to get yourself up here in the top ranking i'm going to show you actually let's go ahead and pick the first one from 2012 they've been ranking number one for a pretty long time i have another tool that helps me and again this is going a little bit deeper which i didn't mean to do today but i just want to show you very quickly if you look over here to the right of that video you can see um, because i use a tool called tubebuddy i can go in there's tubebuddy right there and find out exactly what keywords this person used and i can use some of them okay so you can kind of model your keyword search off of the ones that are well let's turn that off there we go sorry about that <clears throat> we can model off of the ones that are up there so here we go um, keyword search for this person and here are the keywords that they used and you can see them so that just gives you an idea too um, i use vidiq and i use tubebuddy and i honestly still use both um, i've made videos to explain to you why um, i've done comparisons um, i use each one for two different reasons but you don't have to do that um, but i just wanted to give you an idea of what that looks like okay the keywords and where you can actually see what other people are using here's another topic how to train dogs maybe you love animals and you have a passion and you want to do a youtube YouTube channel I I know people that love animals so much that they will sit there and find pictures and um, I, I found a channel that they just put it on live and they show their puppies playing and people are watching it so um, that would be boring for you you would want to add more to it and have other videos but here's one you can see people are searching 341 million searches um, let's go ahead and look at videos and here you go again these are from 2013 2016 2018 so if you can rank as 2020 and get yours up there and be fresher people are going to look at if they see a 2020 video and maybe a 2013 our tendency is to go for the newer video that's just human nature because you feel like the information is more is fresh and more up to date um that's just been my experience but again search for your topic plug it in and make sure people are looking for it and from there let's go to step number two in this step we're going to think about what types of videos we're going to make so you've come up with your idea of what your channel what you want your channel to be about so now what i want you to do is come up with a list of ideas of what videos you would make so actually do a brain jump just start coming up with all these ideas of what kinds of videos you'll make so if you're doing something with guitar you might think about um, how to get started I don't know anything about guitar so I don't know how you would uh, separate it into maybe little topics I call that pillars um, you might have one pillar where you're teaching people how to play chords um, I know there's um devices that you can use on that help you with chords maybe you can show them how to use that um, how to read music might be part of it I don't know but if you break it up into what I call pillars it might help you uh, categorize your videos and that way you'll have a variety so for instance you might be doing something again with dog training so you might have a whole bunch of videos about training your dog using treats or um, training your dog with signals or training your dog with whatever else so write those four pillars down or subcategories if you want to call it that and then under each one try to come up with like 25 ideas i know that's a lot 100 um, even if you come up with a good 50 i think you can be pretty sure that okay i've got something here that will be viable and something where i won't run out of ideas because if you just start making videos and after about 10 of them you're going to go oh i can't think of anything and then it's going to be a little discouraging so make sure your juices are flowing you, your ideas are going and keep on throwing those down now some people can come up with 10 at a time and keep moving once they have their channel going that's fine but if you're not like that you always want to be ahead of yourself if that makes sense so now we're going to go to step number three and we're going to do some research we're going to dig in just a little bit deeper um, as far as how we can come up with keywords so that we can be found because you can make the most beautiful videos in the whole world and nobody's going to find them if you don't do, use search engine optimization now there are keyword search tools out there that cost money and there are some that are free one of the free ones that i like to use is called uber suggest i'm going to pull that one up right now and it's exactly what it sounds like ubersuggest.com neil patel 
puts that out. He's really big. He does a lot of videos about making videos, but his primary niche is websites. So if you, you have a website you want to build, um, he's definitely somebody you want to um, start to follow. He's got a lot about videos too, so I would suggest him anyway. Um, but when you go in, you can buy uh, up the tool and it'll give you some upgrades or just use it for free. And right here, we're going to type in dog training because that's what we've been talking about. And it's just going to give us an idea of um, are people searching for it? Is it even popular? Is it even worth it? Um, just because you saw the trends, this will give you more information. Now, the volume is very high. It tells you that. But look right here. The difficulty is a 62. If the difficulty, the higher the number is, the more competition you have out there. Being new, you might not want to start with just that title, dog training, or using that as your keyword. You might want to uh, make it more of a long tail keyword with more words, and then it's going to have a lower SEO difficulty, if that makes sense. Um, cost per click, that is high. So again, what this means is there are a lot of people using this. Let's try, um, let's see, what else were we talking about? How to play the guitar. See what that brings up. Now this one, do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 here we go. We're waiting. Okay, this one, the difficulty is lower. So it would be probably something you would definitely want to look into. The volume isn't extremely high, 33,000. That's a lot of people still, but you're you're not going to have as much competition out there. Now, if you scroll down, it'll go into other details about, um, you know, where are people searching, other keywords, trends. Um, here are some more um, long tail keywords you could use, how to play the guitar, how to play the play a guitar how to play guitar a chord, um, how to play guitar bass, how to play beginners. But you notice um, the volume goes down, the uh, cost per clicks, the more detailed that you get. So you can really dig in. I'm not going to spend my time on here um, going into how to read this as much as know, letting you know it's there. There's another one called Keywords Everywhere. You're going to see a lot of videos out there that say this is free. It used to be free. But if you put in, um, go look for the Chrome extension keywords everywhere. And if you just pay $10, you get 100,000 searches. I have not even tapped into that yet. And I keep mine turned on all the time. So that's another one that you can use. It kind of does the same thing. But I just want you to know, that's another one. Here's another one that I like to use that I do pay for. It's called TubeBuddy. But you can see my icon up here. And if I open that, these are all the features of TubeBuddy. And then over here, it has a keyword explorer. And so I can just type that, um, go ahead and put in dog training as we did earlier, just so you can see. Now, it's also going to compare this word to my channel. So that top part there, <laughs> it's funny, it shouldn't be good because I don't do videos on dog training, but it says it would be a good one. Um, the search volume is poor for my channel. Competition is excellent and optimization strength is excellent. So um, let's try the guitar one, how to play guitar. Just like to see what comes up. Um, again, you also have all these related keyword phrases. We call those long tail keywords, like I said. And again, it says poor because it's comparing it to my channel. And let's uh, scroll down just a little bit. You can then go over here and hit one of these, like how to play guitar songs, and then it'll pop it over there. So um, you can spend a lot of time, which you should, um, researching and f making sure what you're doing is viable. Um, the search volume for this is excellent. It's something very good. Very little competition. It says it's poor. Optimization strength is excellent. So if you're a guitar player and you were thinking about doing that, it's probably a very good niche to get into. So we'll leave that there. The other thing that you want to do is you want to do some research where you're comparing, uh, looking at your competitors. So if you're looking for guitars, go find other channels that they're playing guitars. We looked it up earlier, how to play guitar. You saw those videos, open them up, and then you'll see right underneath the video, the channel name. Click that, go to the channel, and see what's going on. Now, I use uh, TubeBuddy and I use vidIQ where I can actually go to somebody's channel. Let's do that right now. I'll show you real quick. Um, I think we had it pulled up right here. Hold on a minute. 
All right, I went, I went back to the Google search where we wrote in how to play the guitar. I brought up the videos and here they are. I'm just gonna pick one video. So how to play guitar for beginners. It's the fourth one down in the ranking. And I just wanna see, this one was an older video, actually. We're gonna hurry and turn it off when it comes on. This is from 2012, but it's got 10 million views. This person made this video uh, eight years ago and let's turn that off eight years ago and they're probably still making money on it because it's still being searched and people are still looking at it but you want yours to rank ahead of them well here it's their name of their channel is called the center stage guitar bass and ukulele academy and they have 203,000 subscribers this would be considered one of your competitors so you want to go to their channel and one you want to see are they still even posting um they did as of a year ago they posted this so yes let's go ahead and turn that off as well <laughs> and let's go down and i don't know if they're still posting they're, they just have some created playlists we're going to go up here to where it says videos and we're going to look at their newest we're going to sort i don't even have to sort i just want to see if they were still making videos and they are just five days ago they made a video you can go up there too and sort by newest to oldest and things like that but i just want you to see this channel is still out there and you can look at the channel what kind of you know videos are they making which ones are getting lots of views and they're doing pretty well they're getting a good 500 or more views within a week so that's not bad at all and you saw the one that's been sitting there for eight years has 10 million views so good niche to get into um, and you definitely want to look at other people they're your competitors but they're also the people you're going to connect with and um, become part of their community so the competitors on youtube aren't really fighting against each other as much as they're trying to help each other and doing that and how to do that there's lots of ways but that's not what we're going to talk about today what have we done so far you've decided on the topic of your knit or your channel and you've done some research um, you've created a list of all the different types of videos that you think you might want to make if you also when you're thinking about the types of videos you can also google things like um different ways of making videos um, youtube videos and it'll tell you different ways like if you're doing something about products like affiliate marketing it'll say you can do a comparison or you could do a review or you could do a re tutorial so there's different ways of making videos that'll help you just google but that'll help you with your ideas and number three you've done your research okay so you've got some kind of a search engine optimization keyword tool in place because you just don't want to throw your videos out there but now what i want you to look at is what are you going to name your channel because that's important you don't want to name it one thing and then change it some people like to use their name i use my name because i have the same name on all my platforms and when people look for me all of that pops up when they do a search and i want them to see all my different all the different places that i am at other people like to come up with a cute name um maybe they're really talented and and they can come up with something that's really catchy and the advantage of that is if you're very good with branding and marketing and you can you know how to build that channel or that that product or whatever you're doing really huge you could sell that down the line i know some people name it something else on purpose because that's one of their intentions for making money is they want to sell that channel name so if that's something you think you would want to do then go down that avenue because you really don't want to sell your name because <laughs> it's the only one you got um, unless you want to change it so definitely think about the name as well and last but not least number five just start go in and actually physically create the channel now that you have all those thoughts and those ideas and you know what direction you're going and you kind of have a map now create it now i have a video there's a card right here how to launch your channel and it's the basic steps if you don't want to watch a video you can just go in and it'll take you through like you know step by step google will it'll go to youtube.com and there's a button that says create a channel and just follow it and do what it says and you can do it that way as well now there's a lot of little things that um, you will learn after you've created your channel and you've started to um, make your videos but don't worry about that stuff right now everything I just told you is enough to get started and that's what you need to do when I first got started I wasn't really sure what direction I was going I knew I wanted to um, do a, an educational video about how to make money online that was my goal I wasn't sure about the niche exactly um, but I knew that I was using a sales funnel called clicks click funnels and I was building things and so as I was building I was making how-to videos so if you go to my channel you'll see that I've got about 40 
videos in my playlist and that's how I got started. But as I kept going, I realized I wanted to go into the niche with affiliate marketing and then to coach other people how to build their business the same way. I was looking at, for me, um, how to build a business online that will keep generating income into my retirement so that I don't have to count on that measly little um, retirement income that I have built up. So that just to show you where my intention was and where I was going with that. I wanna learn how to grow your channel once you are building your videos. So I do have another video, three tips on how to grow your channel. You can look at that up here. And then at the end, I have a playlist. Um, I've got two playlists actually. Let me go ahead and pull those up. Um, if you go to my channel, Actually, this is the easiest thing to do if you're really interested in getting started. What I have done is I've made several playlists at the bottom of my channel that'll help you, like, let's go in and look. Um, but those are my most popular at the beginning. And then YouTube, if you want to look at YouTube for beginners, how to grow your YouTube, and then under that, make money online, different models, and then sales funnels and email marketing. It just gives you an idea. Um, I was talking about pillars earlier. Those are kind of my pillars um, for people, and they can go in and they can see all the different types of videos I make, but they all come together under affiliate marketing business. All right. That is all I have for you today. I hope that was helpful. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Check out my channel page and look at those playlists. Hopefully something there will help you. Go ahead in the comments below and tell us your idea for your channel. Maybe you're still apprehensive and you're not really sure, you know, you're, you're afraid. You're, it's intimidating to you to get on the camera. Um, go ahead and let us know and we will encourage you in the comments below. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.